Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Greetings. Um, I pray all is well. I pray that the grace of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus have been strengthened according to his will and his purpose. But before we get into the word of the Lord today, uh, let us pray so our heart to get into a place to receive all that the Lord Jesus has to pour into us today, okay? Uh, so without further ado, let's pray. Uh, dear Heavenly and Wise Father, we repent of our sins. Please forgive us our sins who come for your throne. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for your life. We thank you for your hope. We thank you for who you are to us, Lord. And Lord, we just pray that you will have your way, that you will speak freely to us. And Father, that you will consume us with your life right now in this moment, Lord. Reveal your word that we may know you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Give me one second, my brothers and sisters. Uh, um, Sister Kenya, I don't know uh, if you can hear me or if you're online, but could you, uh, can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, cool. All right, my brothers and sisters. So let's get into this word, okay? Um, as I've been spending time uh, with King Jesus, he's been speaking to me concerning his heart, okay? As I've been spending time with King Jesus, he's been speaking to me concerning his heart, okay? In the last couple of series, uh, we've talked about a great deal of things. Uh, but in this series, this new series on end time evangelism, we're starting a new series where we're going to take a flight into the heavens, right? We're going to take a flight into the heavens and God is going to reveal to us what is going on in the spiritual realm that is playing out in the natural. The things that we're seeing on, new, on the news, the things that we're seeing in our environment, the things that are happening in our kids' school or our schools, the things that are happening all around us, it happened in the spiritual realm and it is playing out in the natural so i want you to the lord want us to buckle up our seatbelt and get ready because he's going to take us to a new level in the spiritual realm each week he's going to take us in the spiritual realm and we're going to fly at different altitude altitudes and he's going to explain to us king jesus see the right on right hand of the father in heaven he's going to explain to us what is happening in the spiritual realm that we may understand what is happening in the natural okay and as i've been spending time with the lord the Lord said, let your heart posture be in me. He said, let your heart posture be in me because there's two types of heart postures. And in this hour, there will be a heart posture that rebel against God, but there will be a heart posture that surrender to God. And we want to have that heart posture that surrender to God because only as we surrender to the heart posture, he desire we will be free from the deception around us. And King Jesus said, let the gospel be the, the foundation of your mind. Let the gospel be the foundation of your heart. Let the life that come through the gospel and by the gospel consume you in such a way that it causes you to walk in step with the spirit. Oh, let it be so deep in you that it calls you to walk in stealth with the spirit because you're doing everything to please God. You're living to please God. You're serving to please God. And as you serve to please God, as you live to please God, and as you live to know God, then the intimacy that you receive from God will cause you to triumph, triumph over everything that is not God because you are found in God by being in Christ Jesus. Our Lord and Savior. And the Lord says, speak this message this week. To, speak this message to my children. And this series, my brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters called End Time Spiritual Warfare, Level One, Mind Control. Oh. The title of this series is End Time Spiritual Warfare, Level One, Mind Control. My brothers and sisters, we have to consider what hour we are in because everything we are seeing right now that the media is portraying, that some certain politicians in the government are portraying, certain laws that are being passed uh, in America and even at the United Nations, uh, I think it's May the 22nd through the 27th, the 27th they are right now uh, voting on a resolution to try to rob America from its sovereignty as a country. Right now, the Biden administration is right now in cahoots and talking with the war, the director of the of the World Health Organization to to, to uh, vote 
on an amendment that would give the director over, uh, over the World Health Organization complete sovereignty over America where the person at the United Nations, at the World Health Organization can declare a emergency in America. Oh, that right now the Biden administration is trying to be in cahoots with the World Health Organization and blindly rob America of its sovereignty where they want to give the director of the World Health Organization sovereignty over America health system. Well, a someone that is not the president of America could declare emer could declare an emergency in a sovereign country. And so they're trying to vote this week to give that over to the director to in in in, in reality rob America of sovereignty. Now why is this important? Because they don't want America to be a sovereign country. Uh, country. The World Health Organization, the I mean, the World Health Organization, the WHO, and the WEF, the World Economic Forum, the United Nations, don't want no country to be sovereign, but they want every country in the world to be a one, being a one world state or a one world globalism. Now, why is it important? Because this is what this vote is about: removing sovereignty from the nations of this world. And you might say, well, brother, what does that have, what does that have to do with spiritual warfare? Because they have a lot to do with spiritual warfare because what it's really about is mind control. Everything about the vote to rob America of the sovereignty, uh, big tech media, majority of the media, uh, not all majority of the media controlling the world's uh, narrative on the news uh all it is about is mind control because if they control the way you think and they control what you pursue and they control what you go after then watch this your heart posture will be turned towards them instead of god and the reason why spiritual warfare is there uh, is very important because can't no one physically just control your mind but they have to corrupt your spirit to get involved with your mind. Mm -hmm. They have to corrupt your spirit to get involved with your mind. So the question is, who operates in corruption in the spiritual realm? Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about it. Ephesians chapter 6 tells us about it. And let's go to it real quick. Ephesians chapter 6, talk about it. And I'm going to go to it because this is what we're going to take off. So buckle up your seatbelt. We're going to take a flight into the heavens, and we're about to take off right now. The Lord is letting his plane, taking his plane off the ground, and he's going to pilot us from Ephesians chapter 6. Now, watch what the Lord says, and I want you to watch closely as the Lord revealed to us what he wants us to know that is happening in the heavens and the reason why these people are doing what they're doing, the reason why they want to remove sovereignty. Um, from a country, the reason why they control the narrative, the reason why they want people to think the way they want them to think. Because they say, hey, if you are against abortion, then you are a extremist or support the MAGA uh, 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 Trump movement. And this is not about a political, about Trump or Biden. This is about being pro-Bible, right? And so they try to call you extremists and call you many other things if you don't think the way they want you to think. If you don't follow the, if they want you to watch this water down the Bible, they want you to water down the Bible so you won't follow the Bible as it is written. And when you watch this, they want you to compromise your faith so that you may live by a different spirit outside of the spirit that God has given us through his sacrifice. Because if we live by God's spirit, he will help us watch this walk in righteousness because he is he is uh he will help us walk in righteousness because he guides us into all the truth that come from God. Now watch this. Watch this now. It says uh it said uh verse 10, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, it said, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authorities, against cosmic powers over this present darkness, against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Pause. 
Now, it's three things that the Lord wants us to, to key in um, on right here now. It said that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, right? And so the Lord is telling us, listen, what is happening in the physical realm, mm -hmm. what is happening in the fleshly realm, right? Watch this. It's just not against flesh and blood. So everything you see that is happening in the natural is just not only coming from the natural and from a natural place. And then he transitioned to say, watch this. But, you, but he said, but it is against rulers, against authority, against cosmic power over this present darkness. So in three things he said, he said rulers, authority, and against cosmic power. So let's talk about rulers, right? So in the physical realm, we see rulers over countries. We see presidents over countries. We see prime ministers over countries. We see judges in magistrate court. We see people sitting on Supreme Court. We see rulers in the European Union. We see president rising up for a super state in the European EU. We see leaders in the Middle East, right? These are physical rulers in place, but there is a spirit behind every ruler. Mm -hmm. There is a physical ruler in place, but there is a spiritual uh, ruler behind the physical leader. And if they're not being led by the spiritual, watch this, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a godly ruler. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is God. He is the one and only true God, the third member of the Godhead, representing the one and only true God, right? And so as we get an understanding that the Holy Spirit is the godly, righteous, holy ruler that guard our soul, that shepherd our soul into life, right? That means out, if it's not the Holy Spirit ruling us, the God, the, the, if it's not the Holy Spirit ruling us, the one and only true God shepherding us, then that means it is a false ruler, a corrupt ruler, a evil spirit, watch this. That moving in cosmic power in the in the spiritual realm, calling men to do things that are evil to push a corrupt agenda. Mm -hmm. And so right now, in this first week, we're going to talk about mind control. Because in this seven-year period leading up to the second coming, the world leaders of the world right now through New World Order, right now, is pushing other algorithms and systems to control the minds of the people. Mm -hmm. They are pushing algorithms, right there, watch this, and solutions to control the mind of the people that they may think what they want them to think they will go where they want them to go and pursue what they want them to pursue. And the Lord said they are rulers. So we got to understand when we looking at leaders on the scene, if they are passing anti-God legislation and they are against the Bible. Are they telling us to water down the Bible? Are they saying you can believe in whatever you want to get to heaven? Then we know that is a evil ruler, a evil spirit behind that leader. Mm -hmm. And what they're trying to do is control your mind so that you may follow corruption and evil. <laughs> and they're trying to control your mind so that you may follow corruption and evil. And why is it important? Because our ears and our eyes is the gateway to our soul, so we must guard what we hear and what we see. And these world leaders, watch this, are causing a lot of physical crisis to control our mind to follow what they say. Oh, they are causing a lot of crisis to control our mind by what they say. So if the evil is, if the, if the spirit behind the physical rule is evil, and what they saying, they're saying, and what they're uh, promoting in the public through corruption and crisis, and they're trying to make us follow corruption, then that means they are trying to control our mind with deception. Oh, that means that they are trying to control our mind with deception. And the only way to overcome deception is with a mind that is anchored in the truth. <laughs> And the question is, what will control our mind in this hour? Because in this first stage of the seven-year period, what we are in now, it's all about mind control. In church, we have to let God control our mind. Let God move in our mind. For Romans 12 said, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so right now, the one world government want to conform us to this world by controlling our mind through deception. 
And so the victory and the only way to overcome it is to be controlled by God by being led by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. The only way to overcome it is to be controlled by God by being led by the Holy Spirit. Okay? Because this is the hour of mind control. Somebody's going to control your mind. The question is, who will it be? Somebody is going to govern your mind. The question is, who will it be? Because right now, God is revealing Christ. He's revealing his prophecies that was uh, written over 2,000 years ago. And he's saying, give your mind to me. Give your heart to me so I will keep you from this deception that these people are doing. Why? Because after this next crisis, the world is going to be in a temporary form of discontentment because the world is going to be shaken. But if you are content in Christ alone, then no matter what is shaking around you, you won't fall to corruption because you are already content with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when we are already content with Jesus, no matter what is shaking around us, we are still because we have everything we need for life. Okay? And so the Lord said to me, be content in what you have. Okay? Be content in what you have. Why? Because this is the hour of mind control. Where the, where the global leaders want you to be content in the world, content in their solution, content in their technology, content in their digital system, content in these things that's going to lead to the mark of the beast, when we should be content in what we have in Christ. Man. Okay? Very important, my brothers and sisters. And so as I begin to share my screen, as I begin to share my screen, we're going to begin to talk about, go even further about mind control. So Ephesians chapter 6, it says that, 10, it says that, uh, rulers against authority, right? So not only rulers, but we know every ruler has what? Authority. Right, this. We know that every ruler has authority right right now why is it important because if the ruling ruler have authority that means he have people up on him mm -mm -mm. if the ruler have authority that means he have people up on him so that means watch this the leaders of countries the leaders of the one world government the leaders of the united nations the global leaders that believe in a world world system have authorities Watch this, in the physical realm, but there are authorities in the spiritual world, in the heavens, with an assignment to push a uh, evil agenda in the earth. Watch this, because God said that it's not against flesh and blood, blood, but against evil principalities in high places. So what is happening in the spiritual realm, that Satan and all of his demons, watch this, have a evil corrupt agenda for the mark of the beast, and through evil rulers, they using the the authorities that are attached to the rulers to push a narrative into the earth that produce corruption. But watch this. Our the great father, the good and loving God, the good ruler, the good parent who stood our soul into life, watch this, in the heavens, in the spiritual realm, is pushing the righteous doctrine into the earth. Through who? The church that we may be a beacon of light from the spiritual realm, that what's in the spiritual realm may be played out in the natural through us. Oh, That what is happening in the spiritual realm will be played out in the natural through us by us being his body, shining his light, that we will tell people, let God control your mind. Let God guard your, it, let, uh, uh, the Bible said that in him we have all of our being. And so God said, let me control your mind. Let me control your heart. Let me govern your mind. Let me govern your heart that way I may lead you into my glory forever. Because there is a evil force in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual places, having an assignment to try to c control your mind. But it's not for good, but it's for evil to cause you to die. Watch this, to be separated forever in the lake of fire, right? And so, so right now, my brother, sister, God is telling us every ruler is connected with authorities, right? And so what does this say about uh, spiritual warfare in the end times? That there are going to be a high war in the spiritual realm 
Therefore, it's going to be a great war. It's going to be a great, because there's a great war in the spiritual realm, there is going to be a great war in the natural realm, right? Because in the spiritual realm, there is a war against light and darkness. Watch this. It said that, it said that, uh, verse 10, it said, but even it said, of the authority against powers over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly place. So watch this. Because there is a war in the spiritual realm against light and darkness, there is a war in the natural against light and darkness. We go to some of these articles, see some of the decisions happening in the, in, in, in the natural, but it kind of says that uh, against cosmic power over this present darkness, against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. So there is power that is unseen that is over this present darkness because it says Satan is the prince of that. So right now in the airways of the earth, he is watching this running a corrupt narrative of globalism and one world government and watch it, there's a evil power over it. And watch what God said, put on the full arm of God that watch this, you may be consumed by the gospel and protect you from er every evil design of the enemy, every evil scheme of the enemy. Watch this because you are covered in my blood, covered in my life. Okay? And so let's move forward. Okay? Now that we talked about Ephesians 6, now we're going to transition. And the Lord showed me, he said, son, a storm is coming. He said, son, a storm is coming. And he showed me this great storm, this great storm as a tornado, like a whirlwind. He showed me this great storm. Um, he, he showed me this great storm. Uh, okay, give me one second. He showed me this great storm. He showed me this great storm as a whirlwind, right? The Lord King Jesus showed me, the, uh, the Lord King Jesus showed me the, and took me in the spirit and showed me this great storm as a whirlwind. And he showed me the man of God because the man of God cried to the Lord, had faith in the Lord. Even though the house was moving, he was not moved. Even though the house was moving, he was not moved because he cried out to God. And so in this hour, it's going to all be about, it's going to all, it's going to be all about my control and who is controlling you. But those who are controlled by Christ won't be moved by the storm of deception, won't be moved by the storm of delusion, won't be moved by the storm of corruption because they're anchored in the one who is life. And that one is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Okay? And as we consider this storm, the Lord said to me, have you considered, he took me to the book of Job. Job said, uh, God asked Job, uh, I mean, in the book of Job, God, Satan was walking to and from the earth and God said, hey, what's going on, Satan, right? God said, what's going on? Satan said, I've been walking to and from, to where Satan walked up, walked up as God was having, the, uh, let me go to the book of Job, let me, get, let me go to it real quick so I can read it to you. Job chapter one, Okay, give me one second. And, and watch this, verse 2, 1. It says, again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. So God is uh, having a conversation with the sons of God, and Satan walks up. So watch this. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to the present to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came among them to present themselves before the Lord. So this is a spiritual realm conversation now. This is a spiritual realm going on, so we can understand that. Watch this. There are things happening in the heavens and the spiritual realm that we can't see. So watch this. They're going to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said to Satan, from where have you come? Where have you, uh, where have you come? Satan, Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro on the earth and from walking and from walking up and down on it. And the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turn away from evil. Mm -mm -mm. He still holds fast to his integrity, although you have incited me against him to destroy him without reason. Then Satan answered to the Lord and said, skin for skin, all that a man has, he will give his life for he would give for his life. But stretch out your hand and touch his bone and his flesh and he will curse you to the face. And the Lord said to Satan, behold, he is in your hand, only spare his life. Watch this. 
So, so Satan, uh, as God is having a conversation with the sons of God, this is all taking place in the spiritual realm. Now, God is having a conversation, right? And Satan said, listen, because you are covering Job, that's the only reason mm -mm -mm, that you cannot touch him, that I can't touch him. Oh, because you're covering him, that is the only reason you cannot touch him. So the question is, who are covering you in this hour? Because this hour about mind control, right? And so as we see Satan walk up in this spiritual in this spiritual realm, he say to God that you're covering him. And so in this hour, the one world government, watch this, are moving by evil powers. Uh, the one world globalists are moving by evil rulers, even demons in the spiritual realm with cosmic powers. So watch this, try to make the church move out under their covering. They try to make the believer move a modern day covering so that they can control their mind. Because in this hour, it's about mind control. And watch this, only the covering of God keeps these evil spirits from touching you. Because watch this, Satan could not touch Job until God allowed it. Oh, watch this. But God says, watch this, you can't touch his soul. You can strike his body, but don't touch his soul because his soul is mine. And if you touch his soul, watch this, I'll thrash you. Watch this. Satan never touched his soul because he know God has nothing to play with, right? But God did allow for Job to be tested to see if to see if Job trusted him. Oh, so in this hour, in this in, in the spiritual warfare, in these in time, it will also prove that we love God or not. But what we got to understand in this hour, in this spiritual realm, in this in time spiritual warfare, that is in this first set, we in that first phase of that seven year period, and it's about mind control. Right now, they're trying to control the masses mind through media and through deception and through crisis to make people follow their, ag their agenda of a false peace, uh, uh, their agenda for a false peace, right? And so Satan said, if you remove your covering, then he will curse you. And so right now, my brothers and sisters, we, this teaches us that we have to remain upon the God covering not to be deceived. We have to remain upon, upon the God covering not to go astray. We have to remain upon the God covering because whenever we are not on the God covering, then the enemy can watch this deceive us. Okay? And so, my brothers and sisters, this covering is a big deal because you might say, well, brother, what does spiritual warfare got to do with covering? Because in it, God said, put on the full armor of God. The full armor of God is the covering of God. Oh. The full armor of God is the covering of God, just like Job had. Oh. And so whenever I'm not up under the covering of God, I'm, I, I am outside of my armor. And whenever I am outside of my armor, I am setting myself up to be control, my mind to be controlled by these evil powers. And when your mind becomes controlled by evil powers, then they bind you in corruption. Okay. Now watch this. I'm a, uh, watch this. I'm going to share my screen and I'm gonna show you a video. I'm, I'm gonna show you the screen and show you this and share this video with you and then we're gonna transition to first we're gonna transition to some more scripture. Okay. Very important. It's all about mind control, right? This 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 uh give me one second let me stop. This next thing is about mind control, my brothers and sisters. It's all about mind control and we, my brothers and sisters, have to be uh steadfast in the Lord. So let's keep moving forward. So let me show you this. Now watch this virtual reality. Pay close attention to this. I'm going to show you a portion of this. And it's sad because we're going to show you what mind control do. an investigation to Christianity, where would you show what mind control do. Watch this. Now I want you to watch this. This, this is what mind control do. And they're, they're going to use uh, crisis with good technology in the helm of it to control this isn't the end of the line. The next platform and medium will be even more immersive. An embodied internet where you're in the experience, where you're in the experience, not just looking at it. And we call this the metaverse. And you're gonna be able to do almost anything you can imagine, just anything you can imagine. Now, and th now this dude, now see, watch this now. I'm not saying that the, when everything go digital, that the gospel cannot go into this digital online metaverse because the gospel can go anywhere. The gospel is not bound. But what I am saying, my brothers and sisters, the enemy, watch this, have an 
evil motive and alternative motive. Because watch this, what makes what what will make this technology go sideways? Because watch this, the technology itself is not evil. God is going to use this technology to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth. But watch this, there's a battle between light and darkness. So God is going to use it for good, but Satan is trying to use it for evil that will lead it lead to the mark of the beast to control the minds of the people. So as this world transitions into this digital realm, but it really will be more of a spirit. Watch this. We think we tra it transitions to a digital realm, but it's going into a higher level of spiritual warfare in the spiritual realm through the natural. Okay. And so what we have to do when everything goes digital, we have to make sure we are in our covering as we walk through these digital systems so our mind won't become controlled. And we and God will use us to watch this, use things as a platform, watch this to spread the gospel to, to retrieve other people so they won't be deceived and lead it led into corruption. God is gonna use it, watch this, watch this, God is gonna cover us with his glory and his spirit but he will use us to use technology to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth and to keep people from being deceived and mind controlled by these solutions. But the enemy is going to use it to lead people to the mark of the beast and to produce corruption. And so watch what this brother, it said that you would be able to do anything you want in this metaverse. Then you might say, brother, what they got to do with end time spiritual warfare? Because we said that this first level, remember we said that this, this is level one in end time spiritual warfare. Level one is mind control, right? And so the, 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 how they're going to get people in this hour through crisis with their digital solution and one world government, they're going to say in our new utopia, in our new one world government, in our new system that we have made for the humans of the world, watch this, the human beings of the world, they're going to say, watch this, you can do whatever you want. You can believe, you can do whatever you want. You can go wherever you want to go. You can believe in whatever you want to be with. You believe in whatever you want to believe. It is for you. That is going to be the making it more attractive, more appearing to watch this control your mind to pull your heart into corruption. And it's very important. And see, God is gonna, not going to let it get all, to, all the way where they want it to get. So when this next crisis happens, things are going to shift so fast with this crisis that they just going to roll out what they already have because God is not going to let it get to the end result. Why? Because Jesus said in Matthew 24, if I allowed for them to, uh, if I did not shorten the days, even the very elect would be deceived. So this next crisis is going to happen. They're going to say, hey, well, we need to go ahead and roll out whatever we have because this is the perfect opportunity to do it. So they're just going to they're going to roll out what they already have and not the full finished thing on it. And God is going to do that. Watch this so they won't get where they want so that the church and the elect would not be deceived because he's keeping their soul. He's keeping their soul in their in his hand. So watch this video. So watch this now. I want you to pay attention. Now, this is about mind control, right? When these two men put these things on their mind, they completely go out. Their mind is in the game. Now, I'm going to show you why it's important. It's all concerning mind control. Watch this. What you just saw was a preview of our upcoming documentary and a big portion of it will cover where this world is headed. And so um, today we're going to look at an outline of what will be covered in this episode. And we normally discuss these on Patreon, but in this case, we want to have a larger discussion around what's going to be presented. It's going to be a lot of material. And so thank you for any feedback, insights you're able to share. God bless. We got a few things that's going to cover. It's going to basically really be about repentance and preparation to stand before our king whenever we see him, whether it's at his return or whenever we pass over and see him face to face. We want to hear well done. And so this episode is really about what does it mean to truly have a have a heart of repentance? And so um, it's been a long few weeks here. Uh, 
thought it was gonna play. I thought that was the vi- I thought it was gonna play the video. Okay. Um okay, it didn't play the video what I thought. Okay. And so now communicated as well. Now what had happened in this video, my brother and sister, let me just go to give you the drop. But I wanted you to see what happened in the video. Uh but this is not the one. So So what happened in this what happened in this video, my brothers and sisters, is that um, what happened in this video, what happened in this video was, um, um, give me one second. What had happened in this video, this man had bought him, his friend had been friends from childhood. And so what they did, he bought a new game. He bought a new game. And, and, and in this new game, they put these things on their temples of their mind. And once they turn on the game and knock them out, and they go into like this virtual reality and knock them out, they go to sleep. They go to sleep on the sofa, right? And as they go to sleep on the sofa, they become, they, they go into the game. Their physical body's not in the game, but their mind, their consciousness is in the game, but they plan alternate characters. And so one man, one was, both of these are men in the natural realm, but in the, in the game, game part of it, one is a woman and one is a man. So they end up play fighting each other as different characters. But in the, in the game, they end up, uh, the woman in the game end up uh, kissing the other, they end, the, in the, the woman in the game end up, the two character figures they have fighting with in the game, the woman end up kissing the man in the game. And so when they come out of the game, now in the natural, these are two men playing a game. They put these two things on their mind, two men, and now they both are in the game fighting, playing with different characters, right? One playing with a woman, one playing with a man. But then the woman go to kiss on the man inside of the game, and then they have an expressive, exactly a evil, corrupt thing inside of the game. Well, let me say this. Let me say it this way. The, the woman and man start kissing on each other inside of the game. And then once they come out, these are two men in the natural, right? And see how, watch this, see how the corruption, watch this, confused the two men in the natural realm, okay? Because we know a woman's supposed to be with a man. So in the game, the woman being with a man is good. It, 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 a woman being with a man is good because that's how it's supposed to be. But watch this. In the natural, these two men are playing a game. So in their mind, in their consciousness, they just had a corrupt experience. Oh, watch this. In their mind, in their conscious, they just had a corrupt experience in the natural, right? In the spiritual realm, watch it, watch this, watch it. In the spirit, watch this. It seemed as if it was a good thing because of the man and the woman. But when you come back to reality, it was two men playing a game. Sad. And why is it important? Because this is the type of corruption what would happen with mind control? Watch this. This is the type of corruption what happened, what they will bring people into in this spiritual realm because the spiritual realm is about, watch this, watch this. mind control of the one world global elitist is to corrupt man's heart, to bring them into a place of anti-Christ and anti-God. And my brothers and sisters, I, I pray that we understand that it's very important that we understand that this end time spiritual warfare, and this is the period of this world, that it's all about mind control. So these two men put on a game. Watch this. They put on a game. Two men go to playing in the game. And then they two characters started making out with uh making out with each other. But then when they come back to the natural, now you're thinking, man, I'm a man. Uh uh, he's a man, and now both of our conscious just had a wrong experience. Say it. Say it. Because in reality, in reality, it was two men having a, a corrupt experience with one another that should never happen, see? And so it's very important. We got to see the wickedness. We got to understand the wickedness of what's going on here, my brothers and sisters, that they, this world is moving into a place of mind control to control the people to do what is corrupt and to do what is evil, to live in a way that is completely, watch this, anti-Bible, anti God. And it's very important. Why? Because this is end time spiritual warfare. This is end time spiritual warfare. And the level one is about mind control. And so that video was about mind control, my brothers and sisters. Okay? So let's keep moving forward.
Let's keep moving forward with this thing because it's 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 not a game uh uh where we are headed, my brother and sister. Okay. It's not a game where we are headed, okay? Okay. Now watch this. You see this app right this here? It's called I'm Audible. Another, I'm Using thing. just this happen? little app on my phone, I was able to... Uh, millions of Americans could qualify for free internet thanks to a new government program announced today. But who can get it and how can you sign up? Here's Tiffany Craig. At a time when the price of everything is high, comes a low-cost internet program. Jamila Bird signed up. It was so easy to hook up and I don't have to pay anything out of pocket. This busy mom qualified for what's called the Affordable Connectivity Program that subsidizes wireless internet for low-income families. 20 different companies like AT&T, Comcast, and Verizon have all agreed to participate. I think it's vital at this point to make sure that all families have that option available to them so that we don't move backwards in terms of what we learned from COVID. For Jamila, gone are the days of rushing around to find Wi-Fi. It, it saves a lot of family time, and that's the part that I like to stress because we're losing family time, you know? So we use this internet connection to bring us back together. And here's the deal. 40% of households should qualify. Here's how you can check. You go to getinternet.gov. When you get to the page, all you have to do is answer a few questions. Tiffany Craig, KHOU, 11 News. And so uh, millions of Americans could- You might say, brother, well, brother, why is that so bad? Watch this, the internet is not bad. It's some people that genuinely cannot have internet and need internet, right? And so watch this. That is not, that is a good thing to get, watch this, watch this. The internet itself is not bad, right? But the question is, why are the preacher pushing free internet, right? We talked about it last week. The book of Revelation 13 said that when the time of the mark of the beast, everything is going digital. Well, no man will buy over to buy or sell unless they have the mark. So in order for any, everybody to be, in order for everything to go digital, that means everything has to be connected. Well, what would we say about the global leaders? They never waste a crisis. So they're, they, what global leaders do, they take genuine people pain that are genuinely hurting because there are people that genuinely need internet, right? Right? But they take their plane and exploit it by pushing a agenda behind it. And so in the national, it's good, watch this, that some people are getting there. Watch it, I got internet, right? We need internet. I'm, I'm talking to y'all over the internet. But you have to also understand that there is a alternative motive that these people, watch this, are using internet to connect the world. That's why thousands of satellites are being launched around the world right now to do what? Connect the world to internet. Why? To connect the world together. Why? Because in the spiritual realm, there is, uh, Satan have uh, uh, creating an agenda to watch this, to make the world worship him through one world government. Right? Watch this. In the spiritual realm, Satan are uh, commissioning all the, 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 the demons in the, the demons to watch this uh deceive the world with globalism to make the world worship him but watch this our father in heaven watch this christ jesus our lord and savior the one and only true god watch this watch this have saved us by his grace and telling us watch this don't be controlled by what is evil but be controlled by what is good and the spiritual war of the end time you either going to be controlled by what is good or controlled by what is evil so if we're going to use the internet let it be for god glory because they have an alternative motive to push everything digital through satellite to the internet. And so in the natural, they're saying, yay, let's help people get them free internet. And people that are hurting saying, yeah, we need it. And so rightfully so. And it breaks my heart that people that are evil will take people genuine pain and use it and use it against them. Right? And so my brothers and sisters, we have to understand that you might say, well, brother, why is this important with spiritual warfare? Why is this important? Because in end time spiritual warfare, it's all about, watch this, mind control is the first phase. And so through the internet, watch this, they're connecting the world, bringing it digital, that they may control the mind of the masses through digital solutions. Why? Because they're going to operate in a way where legislation in the earth will make everything digital, so everything will run on one system. So that they can watch this control and track what you do. And so if they can control and track what you do, then the next doctrine is the religion part of it. Now we want them to believe and worship what we are doing by bringing them into a one faith system. 
And what is the one faith system will be? That you can believe in whatever you want to get to heaven. Fast. Why? Because that completely go against what God has said. Okay? And so, why is it important? Because this is mind control. Because they want you to think in such a way. Right? And so, I'm going to show you another video. Make sure nobody's trying to get in. Uh, about what is going on. And then we're going to go through this. It's uh, a way to immerse yourself in a virtually created world that uh, offers a few things now, but may offer more things in the future. That's Derek Stamos, an airline pilot, giving his definition of the metaverse. Metaverse. Tech companies, marketers, futurists are all using metaverse to describe the next digital shift, a place where the real world and the digital world will mix, even more than they do now. What did they say? The real world and the digital world will mix, right? Right? The real world and the digital world will mix, right? And so reality, we got to understand that first in the spiritual realm, then in the natural. And so watch this. Moving this world digital, watch this, it's going to take the world into a higher place of spiritual warfare. Right? Because they are creating this technology through a place to that you can be whatever you want. Watch this. Because we know Satan, watch this, got kicked out of heaven because he wanted to be God. So his evil agenda in it is to, watch this, to make man try to exalt himself and try to be God through this technology. And so why is that important, my brothers and sisters? Because we see that it says that the real world and the natural world, the real world and the digital world will become mixed. And so when it become mixed, as it is happening right now, then that means the world is going to go into a higher place of spiritual warfare. And so in order to watch this, make man be given over into this, uh, this technology, to worship technology, to worship the one world government, then there got to be mind control. There got to be a narrative that governs their mind to keep them in it. Right? And so God is saying, let me govern your mind. Let me govern your heart. So these things, this where we're headed won't deceive you, but rather you'll glorify me by staying with me through it. Oh. And so it's very important, my brothers and sisters. Let's keep going. But beyond that. Um, right now, we are essentially hearing the first whispers of a metaphors. And there's very little to say like this is this will be the future. All we're really doing is really at the brainstorming phrase of what, well, what should it look like? Metaverse, a term from science fiction, describes how people will interact in a three-dimensional, immersive world rather than the two-dimensional world of screens we interact with today. It's not just looking at video or even virtual reality on your screens or through displays, but really having a kind of a digital layer, if you will, thrown on, on top of the entire world. The great thing about the metaverse is it captures the point that it's all connected. It's like the internet that you walk into. Betting big on the metaverse is Facebook. Right, Last year, CEO Mark Zuckerberg renamed the company Meta. Oh, hey, hey, what's going on? This week, he opened a store called Meta, south of San Francisco. Visitors tried on virtual reality headsets played with other wares and contemplated the metaverse. It's you. And so my brothers and sisters, what you got to understand is everything is going digital. Right now, especially after this next crisis, they're going to begin to roll out things that you've never seen. And so you're going to see this world shift. Like, watch this. Watch this. I'm telling you, my brothers, in a matter of, in a matter of a year, you're going to see this world shift catastrophically. And you're like, it's going to be like, you like, man, wow, how did it shift? Like, it's going to be like it shifts overnight. Why? Because right now they're working on the mind control of the people. The one world global leaders like Klaus Schwab, right? The people that we have talked about, the World Economic Forum, these global highly leaders, BlackRock, all these people that own a lot of the world wealth, uh, they sit back in their conferences, uh, take vacation to quiet islands, and they talk amongst the one another. And they say, hey, how do we control the mind of the people? And that is what they're doing right now through the narrative of the global, the narrative of the one world government, the narrative of everything we're seeing right now in the world. Right? 
And so watch this. Let me go to some of these articles, my brothers. This is very important. Okay. Okay. Now watch this. Give me one second. Let me go to this article, article real quick. Now this is going on right now. Let me read this article. Biden, Biden moves to give World Health Organization health care sovereignty of America. That's crazy. America is a sovereign country. Right? So let's read this article. The Biden administration has proposed amendments to the World Health Organization. Watch this World Health Organization. Why is this the World Health? Because it is set up to be a part of the uh, one world government to govern the world health when everything go digital. Watch this. And they're going to add more stuff on to it when the man of sin uh, take over, when they give authority to the man of sin. The Biden administration have proposed amendments, have proposed amendments to to World Health Organization regulation that would give the UN agency director general unilateral authority to declare a health emergency in the United States. So America is a sovereign country. And Joe Biden is trying to give American sovereignty over to the World Health Organization that they can declare a health care emergency in the United States themselves. Why you gotta ask, why would a president over a sovereign country even think about or even talk about or even consider giving over a sovereign country to a world entity. Why? Because the, the administration in the White House want America to be controlled by the one world government. And so because the Biden administration want America to be controlled by the one world government, watch this, they are pushing a narrative to the media, through the media to control the minds of the people for globalism. To control, that's why the radical left, they want to control the mind of the people to think the way they think. Because if they think people like Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, globalist radical left people want, uh, want the citizens of America to think the way they think. Because if they think the way they think, watch this, their minds will, control, will be controlled by their legislation, be controlled by globalist agendas. And if our mind, if your mind become, become controlled by global agendas, then watch this, eventually your mind will be controlled by the Antichrist, the man of sin, the mark of the beast, because he is over these pilot, the, the man of sin, right now the global world government is uh, creating, they, they prepare the way for the man of sin. They're preparing the, the agenda for, the, they're preparing the, the space for the man of sin that's gonna rise out of Europe. And Joe Biden is trying his best, to, he's trying to push those uh, policies in America. And so look at this, the international health regulation and the Lord took me in the spirit and showed me in the month of May, God showed me around this time in May, things like this would be happening. That's why I'm not, the, the Holy Spirit took me in the spirit in 2018 and showed me that uh, he showed me that these things would happen. God came to me recently and confirmed what he showed to me like four years ago, he recently come to me and spoke to me. He said, son, this is what I was showing you. This is what I was talking to you about. And so this whole month of May, I've been like, man, uh, the, the, one, the Lord been telling me the one world government is going to resurrect their statue, their statue of man. And, and it's going to push forward even more so out 2022 going into 2023. 20, 20, and so what, what I was saying right here, God told me that in the month of May that the one world government res resurrected their statue. So I'm not surprised that they are even talking about these type of things because even outside of this and behind the scenes, this month of May, they're resurrecting their statue for man. Okay? Through legislation and many other avenues. So watch they say the International Health Regulation Amendments will be subject to, to vote at the upcoming annual meeting of the World Health or Governing Legislative Body, the World Health Assembly, May, May 22nd through the 28th in Geneva, Switzerland, warns Dr. Peter um, Bregan and a claim reformer in the field of psych psych psychiatry who is helping lead a campaign raise awareness of the Biden administration move. Bregan writes that the planning for the amendments have, you see how they're controlling the narrative? They showing you everything with Ukraine and Russia, but they ain't talking about this that is going on behind the scenes. See, they have you looking one way to be doing something else behind the back drop of everything. Bregan writes that the planning for the amendments have been so stealthy that it might have escaped the attention except for the efforts of one individual, author, researcher, activist, Jane Roxy. Roxy has a website through which the citizen can come in on the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The deadline is Friday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. A separate form allows 
citizens to sign a petition demanding the amendments be withdrawn. Okay. For 25 years, okay, let me see. Under the new regulation, the director general could declare an emergency in the U.S. if he determines there is a potential health threat to other nations. Bad. Bragg notes that the existing international regulations are binding instrument of international law into into force in June uh, the 15th, 2007. Okay, a uh, graduate of Harvard, Case Western Reserve Medical, known as the conscience of psychiatry for his criticism of the use of drug electroconvulsive therapy in the field. He advocates instead of more effective empathetic ethical, ethical forms of psychological and educational and social approaches to people emotionally suffering with disabilities. Okay. The Biden administration quietly submitted the events to the WHO on January the 18th. Bring wrote on his website. The significantly, they they override the current check with the WHO power, which states that the agency shall consult with an attempt to obtain verification from the state party in whose territory event is allegedly occurring. By eliminating that that and other clause of breaking rights, all the shackles will be removed from the director general who enabled him to declare health emergency at will. That's sad. Breaking warns that the arbitrary authority to declare national emergencies will be used against the United States if our government ever again dares to take anti-global stand as did under the Trump administration. So what is he saying? What Joe Biden is trying to do is make it so America cannot stand against globalism. Well, we know that God is going to have a remedy in America that's going to resist no matter what they do. God is going to have a remnant, whether they pass this or not, God remnant is still going to stand against it, right? Well, some governors of their state is going to be like their own president, right? And so they're going to be resisted regardless, but from Washington, he's trying to make it to a place where you can't stand, you can't be anti-globalist, right? And so we have to understand what is going on here because why, my brothers and sisters? These things are happening in, these things are happening in the spiritual realm, my brothers and sisters, and it's very, it's very important. You might say, well, brother, why is it important? Because this is end time spiritual warfare, and let me put some Bible on it. Watch this. Revelation 17, uh, Revelation 17, verses 22, excuse me, Revelation 17, give me one second. Uh, Give me one second. It said, um, okay, here we go. And he, on um, verse 17, verse three, it said, and he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that were full of blasphemous name. And it had seven heads and 10 horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and jewels and pearl, holding in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the impurities of her sexual morality. Okay. It said, a golden cup of full of abomination and the impurity of her sexual morality. And on her forehead was written a name of mystery, Babylon the Great, mother, mother of prostitute and of the earth abomination. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints, the blood of the martyr, okay, of Jesus. Okay. Now watch this. Uh now watch this. Let me go even further. Let me go back to verse one. 17.1, it says, then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and said to me, come and I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute who is seated on many water, with one of the, with whom the kings of the earth committed sexual morality and with the wine of a sexual morality, the dwellers of the earth became drunk, okay? So it's right now, it's talking about a one world religious system and a one world government. The one world government was a blasphemous one world government and the one world religion was telling people to have faith and believe in this blasphemous one world government. Now, why is that important? Because the Bible said that they were drunk off of her sexual immorality, right? And so God is telling us, watch this, this one world in, in, this, in the end time spiritual warfare, the mind control, the, the mind control of the people, the, mind, the, the one world government will be trying to control the mind of people to commit sexual morality. It was this one world government would be a blasphemous, immoral one world government. So they're right now trying to control people to watch this, to follow immorality. Now, how, how do we know that? Let me show it to you. Okay. Let me show it to you because it said that a woman riding a beast, right? And so right now this beast is, watch this, being exalted now and Biden administration trying to give over American so sovereignty is trying to help exalt it. Why? Because if Ephesians, Ephesians 6 says in the spiritual realm, there are rulers in high places. 
right? They, the, the battle is not against flesh and blood, but against evil principalities in high places. So in the spiritual realm, there's a evil, for, evil force behind Joe Biden causing him to push an agenda from the other the other evil spirits in the spiritual realm from the one world government and these evil spirits are whispering joe biden ear whispering to kamala harris ear uh whispering in the uh the radical left ear uh whispering in uh claw swap ear watch this and they're being given over to these sadistic people what what how do we know that first timothy four said in the latter time people were given be given heeds to seducing spirits that they may abstain from eating meat that God have told us to eat by faith. Well, we know the one world government is pushing climate change to tell people they should not eat red meat. And so how, why are they doing it? Because they're being given over to seducing spirits in the spiritual realm, being, uh, to get, uh, being seduced by evil spirits in the spiritual realm. So what is happening? These rulers, uh, these evil spirits in the spiritual realm, these rulers, are causing people, watch this, to push evil agenda because they're trying to co corrupt people's soul by controlling their minds through immorality. Now, let's talk about it. See? So we see right now, we see right now in America, there's a big thing in regards to, there's a big thing in regards to abortion, right? Okay. So, watch this, give me one second, my brother and sister. Uh, we know that there's a big thing in regards to abortion. Well, we're seeing people protesting uh, against uh, against the people who want to pass laws that are against abortion. Well, we know abortions are against God's will, right? So we should be pro-life as believe. We should uh, uh, tell people to keep their babies, right? Right? We should be pro-life, but you got a people on the other hand are fighting to kill children. So what is happening? So in the spiritual realm, my brothers and sisters, there is a great war in the spiritual realm that watch this is playing out in the natural. And so you can see right now the people, the people that want abortion, their minds are controlled by the evil spirits in the spiritual realm. And it is playing out in the natural, right? And so you see people protesting outside of churches, going in churches to protest against their church because they're standing up for, or they're standing against abortion rights so they persecute in the church or coming against uh people of god or come against politicians that are pro-life you gotta say what is happening because in the spiritual realm there's a great war because they want people to be in, in 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 the spiritual realm there is a war of mind control right and so this has been going on for years in america but right now in this end time in the seven year period this spiritual war is going to be even more real as it go digital. And so what we're seeing right now with uh, the pro-life against uh, pro-life and, and pro-life against abortion, we've seen darkness and light clashing. In the spiritual realm, you got demons whispering in people's uh, ear to say, no, you need to kill babies because demons hate humans, right? And then the, the uh, and, and uh, so the demons, they hate humans. So in the natural they're telling people to kill babies and on the other side you got people that are pro-life you got the, the 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 angels of heaven that are righteous serving god said no don't kill babies that hurt god's heart so you see a clash between light and darkness and the natural right and why is it important because you said that this is about mind control and in this hour we either going to let the, the light control our mind or you either going to let darkness control your mind but if darkness control your mind, you will die. But if light, if light control your mind, you will live. And that light is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Now, why is it important? Because the Bible said that that in the book of Revelation, it says that uh, Revelation 17, 15, watch what it says. It said, and the angel said to me, the waters that you saw where the prostitute was seated, are the peoples and multitudes and nation of language. And God said, this woman will ride a beast, and this woman sat on many waters. And at the end of Revelation, they said these waters represent people, nations. It represented uh, uh, peoples, multitudes, nations, and languages, right? And so God is telling us that this one world government, it's go it want to corrupt the world with blasphemy, corrupt the world through blasphemies, blasphemy and immoral and immorality by the mass so they're taking everything digital so everything can come, uh, be connected uh in one system so that they can mind control the masses to do what they want 
See, right now, everybody, right right now, things are connected now, but what they want to take it to through the di in the digital arena, so everything could be consolidated in one system where they could control the masses of the world. And so it's very important, my brothers and sisters, that we hear what the Holy Spirit is saying, because in uh, uh, um, the Bible tells us, brothers and sisters, um, to be uh, anchored in Christ and his love, that his love may keep our mind from corruption, okay? True statement, my brothers, so it should be received with full acceptance, okay? And so watch this now. Let's see this now, spiritual warfare, okay? We understand that this first segment is about mind control. And so you got to understand there's a fight between light and darkness. So God is sending his service into the earth to fight, to woo us, to, because God is not going to force us to do anything. But he's sending his service out to us to fight, to allow us, for, to allow us to accept him as our Lord and Savior, that he may control our mind by us choosing him. And allowing his spirit to lead our life. So I said, state court allows investigation of parents providing trans treatment to children. So yeah, why? What would make a parent uh, do transgender treatment to their children? Mm -mm -mm. Why is it important when the child is young, the child is a baby, the child is not even focused on. Uh, the child ain't even just coming into the understanding of what their private area is a, is like. Do you hear what I'm saying? They ain't even moving into that way. So why are parents uh, putting their children through transgen transgender treatment? Because there is a mind control in the spirit the, 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 in the spiritual realm. There's an assignment to control people's minds through corruption that they may take the mark of the beast. Because in this hour, corruption through the mark of the beast. They're going to say that you can be whoever you want to be and do whatever you want. And so all of this is to prepare the mind control of the people, to control the people's mind for the mark of the beast. Watch this. The state court in Texas has issued a ruling that protects one family that filed a lawsuit against a state, against a state investigation over the parent provision of transgender treatment for the child, but has concluded that state officials can resume child abuse investigation of other parents involved in advocating adult treatment for their children. And so, and so right now you see the Supreme Court in Texas, they say, listen, we're going to call that child abuse. You can go to investigate it because that's child abuse. So on one hand, people are trying to get transgender treatment, but also you got people fighting against that transgender treatment. So what do we see? We see in people's mind, watch this, that God are wooing people in the spirit to repentance, that their mind may be controlled by him instead of darkness. And so I don't know where this governor at in his faith walk, but I can see God moving around him that in the natural, he's like, hold up, there's child abuse. What is God doing? There's a fight between light and darkness, right? Where God is raising up perking some leader's heart to say, hey, this is not right. This is abuse to pass laws and legislation against this because why? God is fighting for us to give our life to him so he can control our mind, right? But there's also an alternative and evil force, watch this in the spiritual realm, trying to fight to control our mind through darkness. And it's very important because in time spiritual warfare is going to be worse than any other spiritual warfare that we have ever seen, my brothers and sisters. Okay? And so we see, we see this governor right here. Uh, it was Governor Abbott through director several months ago ruled that the state should be investigating parents who impose transgender treatment, which sometimes includes surgical mutilation of health body parts. Sad. So you got parents doing transgender treatment, want to mutilate their children by the parts, whether it's removing or changing their sex as a child. That is so corrupt in moral immorality. Why, you know, why is it important? Because the Bible told us. It said that this one world government will be blasphemous. So this is an abominable act, right? This is an abominable act. It is anti-God. What did the Bible tell us? That this one world government was drunk off of, watch this. It said, let me read it, 17. It said, I will show you the judgment of the great prophet who was seated on many waters. That's the one world religion system. That is a belief system, watch this. Because this one world religion also believe in the politics of the one world government. So they, they hand in hand, right? 
they just bringing a faith system into a political system. Okay, it said, I will show the judgment of a great prophet who has seen them men and war with whom the kings of the earth have committed watch this sexual immorality and who sexual immorality committed uh, and it said and uh, and the dwellers of the earth have become drunk. So these people that are doing these things are drunk off of the sexual morality, drunk off of immorality from the one world government that is coming from the spiritual, that is coming from the mind control through the sp spiritual realm of evil forces, right? And so the evil forces, watch this, are, watch this, controlling the mind of government and governors and, and certain, not all governors, but some governors, some rulers, some president that watch this, they're passing laws to say that this type of immorality is okay. And so when we see our president of America saying that this is okay, then we know that he is a corrupt leader led by a corrupt spirit. Why? Because it is about mind control. And so my brother, it's a very serious time what we're living in. And we have to allow light to control our mind instead of darkness. Okay? And so let's keep moving forward, my brother and sister. Let's keep moving forward with this thing. Okay. And so, now watch this digital dystopia looms. See, I make sure nobody don't need to get in. Okay, digital dystopia looms. 90% of nations are planning CDCs, which is, uh, so let's read it. A new report from the Bank of the International Settlement estimate that up to 90% of national, national central banks are at least in the planning stage for launching a central bank digital currency. Nine out of the 10 central banks are exploring central bank digital currencies CBDCs and more than half of them are now developing them or running concrete experiments. In the particular work on retail CBDCs has moved to more advanced stages. So right now the central bank is nine out of 10. That means almost every central bank are working on a digital currency, a digital currency, why? Because watch this, watch this, they are controlling, watch this, watch this. Uh, they wanna be able to control it, see? They wanna be able to control the currency of the world. See, isolated digital currencies, they can't control, okay? Isolated digital currencies, they can't control. But a central currency, they can control, right? A central currency, they can control, right? And so right now, they're trying to centralize their digital currency so they can control the masses of the world wealth. You might, you might say, well, brother, what does this have to do with? You might say, brother... Uh, you might say, uh, brother, what does this got to do with uh, spiritual warfare in the end time? What does this got to do with mind control? Because a lot of people worship their money. A lot of people's minds are wrapped around their money. Their hearts are uh, wrapped around their money. They are led by their money. They are controlled by their money. When their bank account go down, they do whatever they take, even if they have to do what is evil to get it, right? Because their minds are controlled by money and so because this world the, that's why jesus spoke in the bible you can't serve god in money why would god say that because he know that money will be a god to people in this life right and because people worship money their mind are controlled by money and so this one world government said this what the, uh, this what world leader said he said if you uh, a lot this a uh, uh, one man said this a higher politician said if you give me a nation's econ you give me a nation's money their economy and you give me their food, you can control them. And so the one where government say, if we control their food, we control the money and a benefit system, we got them because people worship these things. And so they're trying to, the central banks are trying to create a digital currency to lock down the money of the world, the wealth of the world, because they know people worship money. And you say what? So when they lock down people money, they, and then they push corrupt agendas for, for you to use it, then watch this. They said, then they can control your mind to do evil, man. But watch this. God has a standard, a remnant that would not bow down to this system, meaning it will go digital, but watch this. God is going to still have us to walk righteous through it. We still going to prevail. God still going to rise up uh, windows and open up windows for the church, for us still to walk in righteousness, for us still use the wealth that he give us to do his will because they cannot stop God, right? God is going to kick in all of their work that they're doing. God, God see every gap that they don't see. Watch this. In all of their crap, craftiness, they're trying to make it out tight to consume the world. And sadly, majority of the world will be deceived. 
but God see every gap in every space that's going to give the church a window to do his will and use his wealth and use his resources to do his will, my brothers and sisters. Why? And even if God did not do that, we're still not going to take the mark. We're still not going to worship globalism. But God have made a way. And so you say, well, and, and, and why is it important? What does God do with mind control? Because this is a form of spiritual welfare. So watch this. To watch this come against people money to make them worship. Watch this, Satan. And so it's very important that we it's very important that we know what is going on here, my brothers and sisters. And it's not a game. Okay. Let's keep moving forward. Let me show you something else. It's all about mind control now. Watch this. Biden admin cancels huge Alaska oil and gas lease as pr gas prices hit high. If if this article is correct. And if Bi Joe Biden really care about inflation, he really care about it, it gas is high at the pump. Uh, uh, I don't know what that picture is, but I don't like whatever that popping up there. If, if Joe Biden really cares about, okay, if, if Joe Biden really care about, really care about um, 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 the gas prices that are soaring high, the gas prices that is moving up, if this article is correct, why would this man counsel an Alaska line? Let's read. The Biden administration has counseled one of the most high-profile oil and gas lease sales, which was pending before the Department of Interior at the time when Americans are suffering from worker high prices at the pump. The DL reasoning. A lack of industry interest in leasing the area of more than 1 million acres in the Cook Inlet in Alaska. What's more, the department also has halted two leases under consideration in the Gulf of Mexico due to conflicting court rulings that, that the impact of work on the proposed lease sales, according to TV, CBS News. So, okay, the department also will not move forward with lease sales 259 and 261 in the Gulf of Mexico region as a result of delays due to factors including conflicting court rules that impacted work on these proposed leases said an age spokesperson. The federal law requires DOI to stick to a fire leasing plan for option offshore leases. The department had until, uh, in, uh, had to the end of the five, the current five year plan due to expire on June the 3rd to complete the sale. Within the first week of August, President Joe Biden signed an executive order temporarily suspending new oil and gas leases on federal land. The administration resumed the new lease in last month following the court challenge against the ban. The administration is appealing a ruling in which Judge Kane, the Trump appointee, struck down the ban. Now watch this, my brothers. Why would somebody counsel a Alaska gas thing when America is hurting at the pump? Why? What in that person's mind would do that? If this article correct, watch this. It's to watch this create a crisis because the one world government is creating crisis all around the world. They're doing all of this on purpose. Ukraine and Russia don't think that will by accident. These things are happening on purpose through global leaders at the top to create a world crisis and drag the world to World War III that what they may control the mind of the people to do what they want. Because we've spoken here that this, this world leader that said that human can be hacked said that um, in fear of people would do things they would not normally do. So what is happening? What is happening? Watch this. They are creating these crises to bring people into fear so their mind can, can, be, can be controlled through fear to do what they want and follow corruption. And so in order for America, a sovereign country, one of the wealthiest countries in the world, in order for America to follow, we got to give America a crisis. We got to put America through a crisis to do what? Follow the corruption of the one world government. So the Joe Biden is moving, is being pushed by an evil spirit that is pushing the one world government and spiritual realm to bring America into a crisis so people will walk in fear to follow the agenda of the one world government. And so why is it important? Because why are they doing this? Why are they making these crises? To do what? To control people's mind to do what they say. They are psychologically conditioning the, the, conditioning the people of the world to follow what they say. Who would be behind such a scheme? The book of Revelation, book of Revelation 12 tells us. It said that the dragon, Satan, watch this. It said, and the moon was on, it said in Revelation 12, when it said, a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon on her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 star, stars. 
she was pregnant and was crying out with birth pain and agony giving birth. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great dragon with seven heads and ten horns on the head. And when we look at the Revelation, the one world government in Revelation uh, 13 to 17, it said it had seven heads. So it referring to that this one world beast is painted in the Revelation to tell us that this, this, this one world government is painted in the Im image of Satan. Meaning, so it's saying that Satan had seven heads with ten dying dams. And the one world government having seven heads is telling us that Satan is trying to use the one world government to make the world in his image of corruption. It, watch this, watch this. Satan wants the world to be corrupt. Satan is a liar. He always lied. He's the father of lies. So he wants to lie to the world so that they can live in corruption. So Satan is building an image of corruption. And so what he's doing is that corrupt image is the one world government. And so he's trying to make that the world worship that corrupt image. And as they worship the, the corrupt image, they will be worshiping a lie worshiping him okay now why is it important my brothers and sisters because this is what the globalists are doing doing giving the world a crisis that they must control mind control the minds of the people and so the question is who will control your mind because either it's going to be god or it's going to be this, uh, the enemy god control your mind by you allow the spirit to lead your life. Now, when I say God controlling your mind, not that God forcing you because he's not going to force you. But when I'm talking about God controlling your mind, that means you choosing to follow his ways by allowing the spirit of God to lead your life. And he will control your mind by you choosing to follow what he say. Right. And so it's very important, my, my brothers and sisters, because the spirit will help us to choose but follow what God say. Okay. It's very important. These things are heaven. And watch, watch after the month of May, you're going to see the, uh, what happens on the news, how they can try to try to control the masses and the minds of the people. Okay. Let's keep moving forward. Okay. Okay. So watch this. Let's keep moving forward. This thing is heaven now. Now, they're on record. Democrats overwhelmingly vote to allow abortion up to birth. Sad. Now, watch this. Let it be known that the politicians of the Democratic Party in Washington are e either evil or cowardly with the exception of one. Reports say that the Democrats have brought an attempt to break the syllabus so that they can bring the Roe versus Wade to the floor in order to codify it into law. Their end goal was to legalize abortion naked while up to birth and what would be no limit. That's sad. So a lot of, not all of the Democrats, but a lot of the Democrats, the radical left, voted to codify abortion with no limit meaning you could kill a child up to like 40 weeks that's that's disgusting why is it important because god is showing us watch this it said it, the bible even you see there is a rulers uh the fight is not against flesh and blood but against evil rulers of darkness with carpet with uh, against rulers uh of evil forces with cos cosmic po uh cosmic powers in, in the heavenly place in the spiritual realm. So these people that are politicians, that are ruling authorities, that people have voted in office with influence are being pushed by an evil force to do what is evil to control the, the minds of the people to think this way. And so that document was leaked and now you see people protesting against it. And when leaders like these corrupt politicians said that they are for it, it's telling people that it's okay. And so you know what they're doing when they're saying it's okay? It's controlling the mind of the people to choose evil and corruption. And what does it go back to? One world government because population control comes from the one world government. Why are the one world globalists so for abortion? Because they believe that there are too many people in the earth that humans need to die. So you know what? They populate control. They, they use abortion as population control. What did they go back to? Satan, the one who hate humans that want us to die in our sin. But God love us because he created us. He, God created humans. He loved us. That's why he died for us to give us his life so we can come to heaven and not perish in our sin forever in hell. But these, these demons, they hate us. They want us to die in our sin. And so my brothers and sisters, it's very important that we know what is going on because what is this about? Mind control. And when you see people protesting for what is evil, you see their mind controlled by evil. That's why our mind should be controlled by what is right and what is good. And what is good is the life of Jesus, my brothers and sisters. Okay? And so let's keep moving forward. Okay? 
Serious stuff, what is going on, my brothers and sisters, okay? Serious stuff, what is going on? Now, the, we just read in the book of Revelation 17, they said that there was a woman riding a scarlet beast. That woman represents uh, Babylon, a one-world religious system. Now, in the physical realm, it refers to the, the Pope, Vatican. It refers to the Vatican, the Catholic Church, the Vatican. But not only just to the Vatican, because they have been taught that it's just only uh, the Catholic Church. Yes, in the natural, yes, it is referring to Babylon, Mr. Babylon, the Catholic Church. It is referring to it. But also God is referring to those who operate in the spirit of Babylon. So that means every nation. It, so what it means is, watch this, people who follow uh, the Catholic Church or operate the same way the Catholic Church do will be destroyed no matter what denomination, whether you're denomination or non-denomination. If you worship this one world government and follow this one world government, you will be destroyed just like Babylon be, just like Babylon will, right? Right? Babylon physically will be physically destroyed, but Babylon also will be physically destroyed by God's wrath that is coming from heaven, by God's fire that is coming from heaven upon all those that don't believe and call upon his name and so it's very important because look what this bishop look look what this bishop is saying and uh and and so now watch this it said it said the woman arrayed in purple and scarlet adorned with gold jewels and pearl right and so look at this bishop right here what color do they got on scarlet what the revelation 17 said that this woman had on it said, he carried me away into the spirit, into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on the beach. That's the one world religious system. And it said, full of blasphemy, and it had seven heads and ten horns. So this one world religious system was uh, following the image of Satan, worship the image of Satan, and promoting this image of Satan. Watch this. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, right? So you see some of these people in the Catholic Church, they may wear purple. And you might even see some people who broke away from the Catholic Church wear purple as well. But it's referring right here, it's referring right here. To the Catholic Church. Now, I'm not saying everybody that wear purple believe in corruption. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is referring to the Catholic Church. Now, watch this. It said the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet. Now, as you look, as you look at this, uh, this man right here, what does he got on? He got on scarlet. Now, why is it important? Because this is that woman, this referring to the Catholic Church, that's going to push the the one world government agenda but not just for the catholic again it's going to be for this would be every the world would be the babylon type spirit is a corrupt spirit and so the one world government is also it's going to be anchored in watch it, the one world government is going to be watched as anchored in a babylon type spirit god is going to destroy the mystery of babylon which is a catholic church but he also going to destroy the spirit of babylon at his coming and every p person that have operated in this spirit will be destroyed as well, my brothers and sisters. So watch this. Watch what they say. That's how we know it is. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This is how we know. Revelation 17 says, Cardinal Jean Claude Hollery at Luxembourg, the president of the Commission of Bishop Conferences of the European Union, published a statement to support the European unification in celebration there of Europe on May 9th. His statement, faithless, faithfulness to Europe values, marked the anniversary of the 19th Amendment School of Declaration, which proposed the European Coal and Steel Company. It also came the same day the conference on the future of Europe pleaded to the Parliament of European integration. Today, we may live in a world where faithfulness to the to this information and these values again means that a vision of change for the European Union, he said. He also praised the creativity and freshness of new proposals and promise as a church. Watch this, what he said. Now, watch this closely. As a church, we are ready to play an even more active role in it. Watch this. The unification of Europe. Okay. And so what is he saying right now? This Pope said, as a church, as a religious system, we are for the unification of Europe. What did the Revelation 17 say? Because we know Daniel tells us that power is going to sway from Europe, that the Antichrist is going to come from Europe, and the Antichrist is going to reign from, uh, uh, the Antichrist is going to reign from Europe, and the Europe is going to be the seat of one world government. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this leader, this religious leader that claims to be a church, said we are going to support it. We're going to promote it. And this, and this church is watch this way in Scarlet. And watch what it. This was prophesied over two thousand years ago. And in twenty twenty two, as we look at this church, this leader Wayne Scarlet. What did the Bible say? 
it said that she was arrayed in purple and scarlet. Watch this. And watch this. It said that I saw a woman drunk with the blood of the saints. It said Babylon, the great mother of prostitutes and the earth abomination and saw the woman drunk on the blood of the saints and blood of the martyr Jesus. It said that this woman was drunk off the blood of the saints. What are we saying? Because watch this. This this one world religious system, this leader would deceive people to worship the mark of the beast. So the blood of people will be on their hands because they're gonna they led people astray from the truth. But also they will worship the one world government and they also watch this, will kill, watch this, will persecute saints, will persecute saints because they will be a false religious system and they will actually kill true believers. Sad. But they also, in the older time, the Catholic Church did kill, kill people, saints. And so we have to understand what is happening right now, my brothers and sisters in the earth, okay? And so why is this important? I said, bro, what they got to do with spiritual welfare? Because spiritual warfare, this is uh, the spiritual warfare of the end times. Well, they will control the minds of people through a religious system to help them watch this follow. This one world religious system will bring the world to a fake entity to make the world worship the one world government, the image of the beast. The one world government is the image of the beast. And the, this church will make people worship that image of corruption that is blasphemy. To do what? To have faith by controlling the mind of the people through corruption. And they're going to have people worship a corrupt thing. Okay? And so this is why it's important. Why? Because this first phase, well, we are now, we are in a spiritual warfare, brothers and sisters. And it is all about mind control. Okay? My last article, my last article for the day, what I want to do today is watch this. Watch this. The last article for today is watch this. Well, uh, it said Emmanuel Macron. Watch this. Just to show you. French President Emmanuel Macron wants to see a new Europe-wide political organization greater. Well, I got one more article out of this. French medical French President Emmanuel Macron wants to see a new Europe-wide political organization created that would exist in parallel with the European Union. Seemingly not, not content with the bureaucracy of European Union, France's newly returned President Emmanuel Macron has called for the creation of another Europe-wide political organization that will run in parallel with the EU. Macron called for a creation of such an entity during a speech in front of the European Parliament Strasbourg, marking the end of the controversial conference of the future of Europe. The French president requests that the creation of an organization after saying that Ukraine potential admission to the EU, which currently is assessing whether it could join the bloc, would take years if the union wants to maintain its standards. Instead, Macron suggested the creation of an even broader organization that would enable Europe to accommodate the likes of Ukraine as well as nations that have left the EU hinting at the potential inclusion of the UK. Why is that important? Because the Bible said that in the Revelation 13, what did it say that? It said, and I saw a beast riding out of the sea, had ten horns and seven heads. The ten dying them of its horn had blessed the name on the head. And the beast I saw was like a leopard. That means UK, Great Britain. So what he's saying that Great Britain could be a part of this. And it's moving right along with Bible prophecy because the Bible said that would happen. And so my brothers and sisters, why is that important? Why is it important, my brothers and sisters? Because this man is calling for a, a, a organization outside of the European Union. So we can see that this is already brewing in Europe heart to have an organization outside of the European Union. What will be that organization? The 10 kings that would take over the United Nation and the Antichrist will see that at the top of it. And so we can see the heart of uh, the, the heart of man all with the heart of the EU already moving in this way because they're saying this meeting was about the future of Europe. Why? Because this is about, this is all about, watch this, mind control this is all about mind control that the people may follow globalism and corruption okay last but not least watch this there's a remnant rising there is a remnant rising okay last article for today um alabama law banning child excuse me um uh Alabama law banning child gender transition surgery goes into effect. Good job, Alabama. A law banning transgender surgery and drugs for minors took effect on Sunday after the law was signed in April. Excuse me. 
Alabama Republican Governor K. Ivey signed a law that made providing hormone treatment, transition surgery, or puberty blockers to anyone under 19 years old in the state a punishable, punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Mm, 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 mm. Good stuff. You know, it shouldn't be at all, but I'm I'm glad that she even started this process even at night. I'm glad she banned it at 19. I'm glad she banned it. And I'm praying that it go even further. I even said in the statement when she signed the bill last month, it will, if the good Lord made you a boy, talk about it, girl. If the good Lord made you a boy, you are a boy. If he made you a girl, you are a girl. We should ex especially protect our children from these radical life altering drugs and surgeries when they are such a vulnerable stage in life, she added. Republican State Allen, who sponsored the bill in the Alabama House of Representatives, said in April that the legislation is about protecting minors. It is about protecting these minors, Allen said, and it's not about adults, but it's about those minors. Their minds are not fully developed to make these decisions on these medical surgeries. Animal, Alabama's law makes it to the second state attempt to ban puberty blockers for minors and first state enact such a law. In April 24, 21st, Arkansas passed a similar bill that was vetoed by the Republican because she said it was too broad. The law is very similar to legislation passed in Florida banning teachers from teaching on issues in kindergarten and third grade. Critics dubbed the legislation on Republican Governor DeSantis as don't say gay bill. So you can see that there is a wave of governors rising up to push back and look at what this lady says. She said, if the good Lord made your girl your girl, if the good Lord made you a boy a boy, do you hear she talking about the Lord Jesus? So you see, he Jesus got people in office that are for the Lord that are rising up against it. Why? Because he's going to judge America severely. And watch this. This remnant, these people that he have in office, they're going to rise up. And they're going to be 40%. 40% of America is going to be the remnant. Watch this. America is like 350 million people. 40% of that is going to be a remnant. That's a lot of people. And watch this. God is going to use this. He's going to take a 40%. 60% going to follow the mark. 40% God is going to use to evangelize the world and they will not be able to stop it. But judgment is going to come first because some of us in the church won't wake up and, and see what God is saying unless he strikes judgment on America so we can come together and put aside our differences and really come together in truth. And we're going to be right and we're going to do what the Lord says. And he also going to judge this America to show you because, you because you've been prideful. Why is this important? Because it's about mind control. We see that this government is raised up and her mind is being controlled by God when she's passing laws to stand against evil. So she's choosing to follow God's word. She's choosing to allow the spirit to control her mind by choosing to yield to what the spirit says. And because of that, she's doing what is right. And so the question is, we are in end time spiritual warfare, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what we're seeing praying out in the national through killing, murders, and corrupt legislation. We're in end time spiritual warfare. And this was level one mind control and so the question is what will you let control you my brother what will you let control you my brother says this is all this this is what i have this is all i have for you today uh um this is all i have for you today i pray that the word was a blessing to you i pray that it keep you man this session was really good next week we're gonna go to another level this remember the title of this was in time spiritual warfare level one level one mind control next week it's going to be a, uh, the second level, level two. It's going to be level two, and it's going to be good, too. It's going to be so good. This week was good, but next week going to be good forever because, remember, right now, we are in the plane. We are flying in the spiritual realm. We are on the plane. We ain't going to land. We ain't going to land the plane to this series is, This series is finished. So right now, we're still 30,000 feet in the spiritual realm. We're still in the air, baby. And we're going to go up to another altitude into the heavens next week, and it's going to be good. And so I thank all who gathered. I thank all who came home. And I pray that it was a blessing to you. Okay. If there's, if there's anything that needs to be said, uh, if you're concerned, if you're fearful, if there's anything you understand, please speak now. Okay. Okay. If there's nothing needs to be spoken, I'm going to go ahead and pray us out. Let's pray. Uh, dear heavenly wise Father, we repent of our sins. Please forgive us of our sins. We come before your throne. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your sacrifice. Lord, I thank you for all who gathered today. And Lord, I pray that this word was a blessing to them. I pray that it would not cause us to fear in any type of way, but it would cause us to be more aware of what is happening in the spiritual realm, that we may trust you and be led by the spirit so we may overcome the evil that is in the spiritual realm by walking in the light that controls, that is over all, all darkness, that is the 
uh, master over everything who is you, King Jesus, that even in the spiritual realm, we are triumphant because, God, you control the spirit. You control the spiritual realm. You are over the spiritual realm, Lord Jesus. And so, Lord, we pray that we would trust you and all things that though there may be evil forces in the spiritual realm, the light in the spiritual realm is greater because you are our God. You control of all things. And even those things that are evil in the spiritual realm have to bow before you because you are the God over all things, the, the natural and the spiritual. And so, Lord Jesus, we thank you for this word. And we pray that it will bear fruit a hundred some sixty some thirty fold. And may we glorify your name forever in the way we live, that our heart posture may be in you, King Jesus. We love you and we thank you so much for all that you do and all that you bring and all that you pour out. In Jesus' first name we pray. Amen. 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 I see you next time, brothers and sisters. I love y'all. Goodbye.